Herzlich Willkommen, this is Vivesco Active Living and today we're going together through our second workout. Get your water ready, get your towel ready, I've got my watch and everything with me. We'll start with our warm-up as per usual, going into three rounds of five exercises, a minute time to go through the exercise and set up getting ready for the next one. Let's go into it. Alright, so today we've got a lateral ground to standing. If you don't know exactly what's happening here, jump back into the search, search for lateral G2S and have a look at the variations that are there or come up with your own. Um, the video will explain that. So lateral ground to standing, so we've got some simple jumping jacks to get through or uh, star jumps. Um, we're going into a sphinx or a moving plank. We've got a bridge with leg extensions and a lunge matrix to finish up. So overall shouldn't be too hard on the cardio component today. Um, a bit more strength and mobility stuff. So yeah, let's get started with our warm up. 60 seconds, step and reaches for the first minute before we go into our active leg lifts and swings. So let's take it away. First minute here, step and reach. As per usual, getting your breath aligned with your movement, exhaling on the way down, inhaling on the way back up. Change your foot positioning, change your reach height and reach direction. Keeping your spine long and tall. And just explore how your body is feeling today. Also take into consideration how well you're hydrated, what you've been eating, how you've been sleeping and adjust the intensity of the workout accordingly to how your body is doing today and what your body needs. Last 10 seconds here before we're going into the active leg lifts for five reps into each direction on each leg. Off you go. Gonna go a little bit over time here today. So four reps. Definitely better to stick to the one minute. Now remember as well. Two, three, four, five. The pull down in those leg swings is just as important as coming up out of it. Got the back ones left. If you're already there, going into your warding. Straight into your warding patterns. Get yourself a wall, a solid structure or a partner that you can work with. 
Getting your breath back under control here. Those active leg lifts and leg swings should get your breathing up. Should get your heart rate up a little bit. Getting the body ready. Last few seconds here. And we're going to do our cross toe touches. Lateral first. Nice big move, coming tall here. Slight hip thrust. About 20 seconds. And setting yourself up, split stance here. Opposite arm as you come down. Lifting the toes. Getting that spiral line nicely engaged. Other side. <laughs> Always got to be right in the center, center, don't you? Yes. Last couple of reps. Nice. And just give it a little shake. Awesome. Grab yourself a little quick drink. And we're getting right into the first round. Lateral ground to standing. Followed by your jumping jacks. Sphinx. Bridge with leg lifts. And the lunge matrix. So if you haven't got a soft ground under you. Or you don't want to sweat into your carpet. Make sure you've got a mat. Or look, use your towel to lie on for the sphinx and for the bridge. Um, the rest should be fine to do without. All right, let's get into it. When you're ready, timer is on. Take it away. Lateral ground to standing. Going into a side lunge. Staying low. Shifting over. Down. Little blob. Try without hands if you can. That was one rep. Staying low. Should go a bit more sideways there, really. Good. I'm changing halfway through because we're only doing three rounds. So we can't, oh, we could go one, one. That's a bit better. So as you can see, I'm still working on my without hands as well. So I lunge here. I'm gonna take a few seconds off the jumping jacks. Coming back up to standing. Nice. Straight into your jumping jacks here. The lateral ground for standing is not hard on the cardio, so we don't really need a big break before we go into our star jumps. Now here, try and get through the whole range. Hands together on the top. Try and keep it on your toes. Getting the heart rate up. Going into your sphinx. Straight after your plank hold. So, challenge there. Heavy breathing into an almost static position. Last few seconds. And straight into your sphinx. If you need to rest in between, that's fine. On your elbows. Moving, shifting, back and forward. Not the face, honey. Thank you. If you need to reset in between, that's fine.
Ah, oh, you've a new sense. <laughs> All right. Last 10 seconds. Just stay down. Moving onto your back. Going into your bridge with leg extension. Lifting up nice and tall. Extend the knee. Bring it back, extend, lower down, don't touch the floor, push back up. Keep that bum open, up, as you lift, extend your legs. Don't drop the hips as you go through your knee extension. Little added difficulty, bring it up onto your toes. It's not about speed, control. Let's finish this rep. Coming up, going into your lunge matrix, which literally just means taking it into a back lunge, into a side lunge, into a front lunge, changing legs, front lunge, lateral lunge, and back lunge. Actually, let's throw a transverse lunge in here just because we can. Transverse lunge, side lunge, front lunge, front lunge, side lunge, trans lunge, back lunge. Now you may think back and forward, same, same. End position wise, yes. But how you're getting there and how you're coming out of it, different. To the front movement. Uh, side lunge here. Last, just finish this round with me. And we're going to just take a minute rest. First round down. So as I said, compared to the session, the first session we did together, um, this one is a little bit less cardio heavy. Um, more control, mobility, um, a bit more strength. And if you have two annoying puppies like me, it's gonna be much fun. <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, yeah, two more rounds. Stick with me here. If you've got a drink, if you need one, even if you don't need one, just go and grab yourself a quick water. Make sure those tissues stay hydrated. We're going straight back into that lateral ground standing. We will actually stay on one side for this round and then do the other side on the next round. You've got four seconds left here. Two, one, take it away. Into a side lunge. Stay nice and deep. Let that leg kind of fold. This is on the toes. If you can keep it on the whole foot, awesome. But any variation to help you at this point, strength mobility comes with time. Standing low. As you can see, I, on my way up, my foot does still quite a little bit of movement to come back up. Haven't quite got the strength there just yet, but hey, always a work in progress. Just remember which side you're doing at this point. So on the next round, you're not doubling up. And back up. Jumping jacks on the next one. Nice. Straight into it. Try and keep it on the toes on those star jumps. Find your own breathing rhythm, whatever works for you. Just don't hyperventilate, please. Sansa, give me one minute, less than that, and I'll let you out. Getting ready mentally for your sphinx. 
Speed these ones up if you can. 10 more seconds, let's go. Staying down here, nicely done. Turn onto your back. Into your bridge with leg lifts. Straight into it. Keep those glutes squeezed on the top. Keep them nice and high. If you can't keep that hip up as you lift your legs, don't add weight. You're not ready. If you can't control your body weight, you can't control added weight. And go on into your lunges. Back lunge. Transverse, side, forward, forward, side, trans, and back. Speed it up a bit. Still a good range. Knee can touch the floor. As long as it's controlled, don't bang it. Last few seconds. Let's finish this round. Woo, stones here. And have a rest. Nicely done. Last round to come up. Catch your breath. So the only two moves that really get the heart going are your jumping jacks. And it can be the lunges if you are speeding them up. Getting a little hop in here and there or a little a switch lunge. Other than that, as I said, it's more about control, creating mobility, and yeah, playing with your lateral ground to standing, which is a bit of a tricky one, because it does require a hell of a lot of strength to really keep it in that frontal plane completely. So the way I'm doing it at the moment, and I'm guessing most of you are probably doing it, you'll have slight body leans going back and forth. Um, so moving in the satchel plane, but that's completely fine. The intention is still on that lateral, getting down through the lateral lunge into that kind of weird seated position on the floor. Whew, awesome. I hope you all remember the side you did on the last round with those lateral ground to standings. I was going down on my right side, so I'll be going down on my left side. Hope you can remember. Um, you may start feeling it as you go through, that you're going, oh shit, I did this side before. Just change it. Nothing bad about it. All right, we're good to go. 
Last round, last five minutes. Not a lot of breaks in between. We're literally just moving on straight away while we are finishing our reps. So one set might be a little bit longer than the other, but hey, it's all fair play. Alrighty, ready, set, take it away. Go on into your lunge, keep it low, shifting over to the other side, and down into that seated position here. Let me get my toes back under, push, and bring the leg back in. Lunge, staying low, shift. I've got my arms here, not because I'm praying, but simply for balance and to make sure I don't use them. If you wanted to make this shoulder work out, you could keep your arms out to the side. Just keep them nice and relaxed. Uh, I'll go down one more time, but I'm going to come up in a more normal way. <laughs> Straight into our jumping jacks. Off you go. Just find a nice pace. We're only going to take it nice and fast towards the end if you can manage. Good old jumping jacks. We just did a little bit of mobility work through our lateral line. Also a bit of strength work through that line. Now we're working the lateral line with our jumping jacks. Nice. Last 10 seconds. Let's speed up. Let's go. Last five seconds. I think I planned this really nicely, allowing you guys to stay down here. Simply turn on your back and straight into that bridge. I'm keeping it on the toes, a little bit of extra work through the calves, so engaging more of that back line. Keeping that hip up. I'm not necessarily telling you to squeeze your glutes, because I want you to be able to keep breathing and squeezing at the moment. And it makes it really hard to actually keep moving. So you're not getting 100% tension grabbing through the butt here. But simply that push does create a squeeze through the glutes on itself. So there's no need for you to extra squeeze that butt together. Right, last round. Into those lunges. Not a lot of upper body strength here today. The hardest is probably the sphinx. Switch jump. Transverse. Side lunge. Forward and switch. Side. Trans. Back and switch. Trans. Side. 
four, last 20 seconds. Hang in there. Probably should have started with that one. <laughs> Hope I didn't square anyone off with the last session. Last few seconds. Let's finish here, last time back. And you guys are done. Nice work. Now, if you want, on your own time, lay down on your back, make yourself long, or have your knees bent, whatever is more comfortable at this point in time. If you normally suffer from back issues, you may find just being long arches you a little bit too much through the back. And I think Aja is in the way, so you probably can't see that right now. So if you're finding yourself lying long, and not being able to let that back relax. Bring your knees up and this should ease a little bit through the back and then just stay here and do some nice deep belly breaths. So put your hands on your belly to feel it. Really filling that belly up, doing some diaf diaphragmatic breathing. Diaf yeah, diaphragmatic. diaphragmatic breathing, there we go. Let's turn that off. In through your nose, and out through your mouth. I'm going to go for three more. Bring that heart right back down. Nicely done. You can stay there for as long as you want. Um, I'm not going to take you through stretches because I don't know what time of day you are doing this workout. If it is evening and you are about to settle in for the night, go, feel free and go through some static stretching just to help and make some stuff a bit longer. But if you've got a work day ahead of you or if you've still, still got stuff to do, rather just go through a few more step and reaches. Uh, get your breathing back under control, tell your body everything is okay and just keep everything nicely mobile and nimble and I'll look forward to see you for our next workout next time. Stay tuned and in diesem Sinne, tschö und bis bald. <laughs>